Hello, I'm going to show you how to regulate your automatic watch. Um, this is a Seiko XKX173 automatic. When I first got it, it was running about 20 seconds slow a day, and I read online that you can regulate the watch yourself to improve the accuracy. So, um, since I have regulated it, um, you can see right here. This is it's been. I've been timing it for 14 hours, and it's only running about one or two seconds fast compared to this quartz watch here. So using a quartz watch is a good way to tell uh, how accurate your watch is. So first thing you need to do is uh, take off the band so you can have access to the case back. Um, I should note that I am not a jeweler or a professional watch guy by any means. I just, re I just read how to do this online and uh, that's where I got my info for this. So do this at your own risk, but um, I've greatly improved the accuracy of this watch and it cost me only about $10 just for these tools. So you can get this tool here online, uh, I think it was like t maybe $10 at the most. You can open up the back of the watch to access the mechanism of the watch. Okay, I've got the back of the watch opened up now. And uh, this little bar right here, this one with the two dots on it, is the regulating bar. And you can see the little plus and minus here. So what you're going to do to if you want to speed up the watch, you take this bar, just take it with like a toothpick or a matchstick and gently push it this way. That will speed up the watch. And to, if you push it this way, clockwise, it will slow it down. Adjusting this little bar here is very, very sensitive. The first time I adjusted it, um, the watch started running about five seconds faster per hour. It was very, very fast. So the adjustment here on this bar is very, very subtle. Just really, really tiny movements. So after you adjust the um, that bar there, you have to check to see if it's uh, running better. There's a couple ways you can do that. The way I did it was using a computer program called Audacity. I'll show you how to do that. Um, if you don't want to use a computer, you can just seal the watch back up and wear it for wear it for 24 hours and check it against a quartz watch, see how accurate it is. There is also an app for uh, smartphones where you can it will actually listen to the watch and tell you how how fast or slow it's running just based on the the ticking of the mechanism. So I'm going to show you how I used Audacity uh, on my laptop to uh, figure out if it was running fast or slow. Okay, this is Audacity. It's a free program you can get online. So what you'll do is, uh, you got your watch right here. You can start recording. And what I'm doing is I take the watch mechanism and I put it up to the, the microphone on the laptop here. And it's going to record the tick-tock of the watch. So what I have here is an audio recording of the back of the watch, the tick-tock of the watch. You can count that there's one, two, three, four, five, and on the six is the first second. So there's five beats per second. So if you record the watch for a minute, and you, you end up, you if you crop the audio, if you go down to the end of the minute, you can see if the beats are still lining up with the time. So you can tell if the watch is going fast or slow using that. That was a quick way for me to adjust this watch and I have it running about uh, plus or minus two seconds a day now. I'm very happy with it. If you don't use an audio program like this, you could always just do trial and error where you adjust it and then check it out after, uh, after like say 12 hours of letting the watch run.